Hello, my name's Tony. I'm a member of the customer support team here at Greenlight Networks. And when I say here, I don't actually mean in the office. Like many of you, we at Greenlight are working from home due to social distancing. During this time of separation, video conferencing has become the main method used to communicate with our friends and family. However, your video call may fall victim to a recent trend known as Zoom bombing. What is Zoom bombing? Zoom bombing is when unwanted guests disrupt Zoom chats with profanity and inappropriate images. We've put together a list of ways to help you prevent this from happening during your next virtual meeting. Before you start your meeting, check your settings. Opt to generate automatically. This will generate a unique link that you can give to the people you invite so they can automatically join your meeting. Don't use your personal meeting ID, which is your unique 10-digit number. If you use this number, anyone with this number could join your meeting at any time. Always require a meeting passcode. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but be sure you use a password that's unique and secure. Turn on the feature called Waiting Room. This requires attendees to wait before they are approved to enter the video conference by the host. After a meeting has already begun, do the following. Make sure you are the only person who can share your screen. In the meeting, tap the arrow next to the Share Screen button and select Advanced Sharing Options. Under Who Can Share, select Only Host. Lock the room to prevent unwanted guests. Once all attendees have entered the room, choose Lock Meeting under the security menu at the bottom of the screen. This will prevent anyone else from joining your meeting. Mute all participants and remove unwanted guests. Select Manage Participants next to the security menu. From here, you can select to mute all participants in the video conference. This will not mute the host. If you do get an unwanted guest, you are able to kick them out from the same menu by hovering over their name and selecting Remove. If you follow these tips, your future Zoom conferences should remain safe from Zoom bombers. If you have any of your own tips you'd like to add, leave them in the comments below. And to be notified of future videos to help you live virtually, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. We'll see you next time.